the Persian Empire, 559 to 331 BC. Iran used to be known as Persia. Its people comprised of two groups, the Medes and the Persians, who migrated to Persia from Central Asia around 2800 years ago. At first, the Medes were very powerful. Then, nearly 2550 years ago, Cyrus, the lord of the Persians, rebelled against the Medes and seized control. Cyrus, the great, made Persia the center of a mighty new empire. His capital was at Ekbatana, and the Silk Row, now buried under the modern city of Hamadan. Conquering Kings Cyrus commanded a mighty army of cavalry and skilled archers. Taking advantage of the weakness of the neighbors, he conquered an empire extending from the Mediterranean to, the, to Afghanistan. His son, Cambyses, invaded Egypt. The Persians gained the support of their subjects by ruling fairly. Darius I eventually extended the empire into India and Greece. He also reorganized it, appointing Saptras, which are governors, to each province. They paid him taxes in cereals, silver, and agricultural products. Uniting the Ancient World Darius built roads and market towns to reach all parts of his huge empire, and encouraged trade by introducing a standard coinage. The Persians controlled the western end of the Silk Road from China, and all trade from India to the Mediterranean. This wealthy cosmopolitan empire linked most of the ancient civilizations of the time. However, it relied on the strength of its rulers. Eventually, the Greeks brought down the empire and took it over. Religious Teaching In religion, the Persians followed the teaching of a Persian prophet named Zarathustra, Thustra, in Greek Zoroaster. Zoroaster had adopted the ancient Persian tribal religion, which the Persians had brought with them from Central Asia. They worshipped one god, god Aura Mazda, who they believed was locked in divine battle with Ariman, representing sleep, and Satan, representing evil. Although Zoroastrianism did not become a world religion, it later influenced many other faiths, including Christianity. This influence can clearly be seen in the biblical book of Revelations.